Hello there, young men. I want to share with you a new study, just came out a few days ago, about sexlessness for men in Japan. This is something that you may be familiar with. You may have heard about it. Essentially that men and people in general in Japan are having sex at much, much lower rates. There is a subset of men in Japan, I believe the Japanese word for this is the hekikomori, who essentially isolate themselves and have no sex. Uh, in English this is sometimes translated to the herbivore men. This study does not deal with that subpopulation specifically, but it does touch on this as far as it being a society-wide issue in Japan. What we're looking at here is a sample of 4,000 men. About half of these men are married, half are not, between the ages of 20 and 50. We're going to look at sexlessness over the last month, over the last year, and permanent sexlessness, or men who have never had sex, virgins or incels or whatever you would like to call them. So first, over the last month, if we look at married men, half of all married men in Japan had no sex. So basically, sexless marriages in Japan, half of them, if we look at that as the metric for what is a sexless marriage, men that have not had sex in a whole month. Uh, for men who are unmarried, the number is, of course, even, even higher. It's 65%. 65% of unmarried men in Japan have not had sex in the last month. This is over the span of one month, so what can we get from that? It's probably not as telling for single men as the yearly statistics are, which we will look at right now. Uh, for men who are unmarried in Japan, 43% did not have sex in the last year. So basically, 43% of Japanese men are going without sex over the course of at least one year. For married men, men who are married, 19% of these guys have not had sex in the last year. So here you have what are essentially perpetually sexless marriages. 19% of men in these marriages are not having sex with their wives. Moving on, we can look at men who have never had sex. And here we see a huge division again between married and unmarried men. Men who have never been married in Japan, who have never had sex, it's 23%. It's a huge number, a huge number of men who have never been married report not having sex. Married men, it's going to be really low as you can expect. 1% of the sample reported never having sex for married men, which, I mean, the vast majority of married men, as you can see, as you totally expect, a totally intuitive finding, are going to have had sex with their wives. But 7% of men who fall into the other category, which could include men who, for example, were married but have divorced, 7% of these men never had sex in their entire lives. So these aren't men who were never married. These are men who were married in some other capacity and divorced and still, somehow, never, never had sex. The study looked at three other variables that it found a relationship with that are worth a mention here as well. The rural versus urban divide. Okay, rural men, much less sex on average. Another is the SES, the socioeconomic or the income divide. Men who make more money, having more sex. This is something that we see pretty consistently across cultures. Higher education men, higher income men, tend to have more sex on average. And this is also because they're more likely to be married. And we can see the relationship in this data between men in relationships, having sex, men not in relationships, not having sex. And a third variable that they looked at here was depression. Depressed men not having as much sex. Is that because depression causes them not to have sex or are they depressed because they're not having sex? We don't know because it's a correlation. We cannot tell from this data what the direction of that relationship is or if it is causal, but here we see, and this is also again something pretty consistent across all of the research on sex, men who have mental health issues are having less sex in general. So, what can you get out of this research and what can you take home from it? Well, if you're interested in the sexlessness phenomenon in Japan, the hikikomori phenomenon and what is going on, this is going to be your newest data and your most up-to-date data, probably the best data that you have on male sexlessness in Japan at the moment. But from a dating and a relationship perspective, I think the message here, the big take-home is that if you want to have consistent sex, 
your best bet is to get into a monogamous relationship. And again, this is something that we see in the data across cultures. For example, in the recent 2021 GSS data that I ran, which is on my website you can read if you'd like to know how much sex people have had in 2021, people in relationships account for most of the sex being had. Most sex occurs in relationships. And people not in relationships who are having sex are not having sex very frequently. They might have a hookup here and there, a one night stand, but it's very, very rare that you find the archetypal male bachelor who is not in a relationship and is having a lot of hookups. And anyone promising you that is probably selling you a bill of goods. What you should really be striving for is to get yourself into a monogamous relationship with someone that you have a good sexual relationship with. You can have frequent sex, you can have a satisfying relationship that way. And it does not even have to be a lifelong thing. I'm not saying you need to get married at 18 years old and stay married the rest of your life, no. The dominant human mating pattern is called serial monogamy, which is essentially forming stable monogamous relationships, multiple of them, over the course of the lifetime. And that is what you should be aiming for, is to get yourself into a healthy relationship with high compatibility, high sexual satisfaction, and ultimately, if sex is what you're after, a high level of sexual frequency. Anyway, I hope that this video was helpful for you. I hope you learned something. If you like it and you'd like to see more research on dating and attraction from within the field of psychology, like, subscribe, follow the channel, and I will talk to you guys later.